Yes, yes guys. guys, how you doing? That Welcome nice. to Okay, you're gonna suck my farm? <laughs> You'd like that. We're back from holiday. We're back. Look how tanned he is. <laughs> Me, yeah. not so much, but it's okay, because yeah, I'm yeah. ginger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannah had a dream, yeah? This is how you know your boy keeps it oh, real. This, this is how you know, holiday. can I talk? This is how you know your boy keeps it real in Hannah's dream. Can someone please interpret this? Any dream interpretators, <laughs> you just let me know what this means. So I go to sleep and my dream basically is Heath Ledger. The and you legend, know your boy. The legend that is Heath Ledger, right? No, no, you He's don't know in my Heath dream. Ledger, first of all, because you haven't seen The Dark Knight. So don't call him a legend because he's my legend. I've seen 10 Things I Hate About You and okay, I absolutely okay, adore okay, you. Yeah, but listen. Have you seen okay. that film? No, I haven't. Right. But what I'm trying to say is... Brilliant film. So cute. Love that's it. not what made him Anyway, Heath's in my dream and he's like, hey, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I want a bit of you, right? Hey. And I'm like, oh, that's really charming. He's of looking you. at Thank her you. like she's a snack. However, can't. Sorry, I'm with this guy right here. I call Ash in. Hey, Ash, come over. Look, he fledges here, wanting a bit of me. I'm like what? He comes in and he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, don't worry about it, babe, because I want you. I only want you. Ash <laughs> turns around and goes, whoa, no, no, whoa, he. Take her. Take her. Have Take her. Take her. I'm okay with that. Heath, you are the <clears throat> snack, not her. So I'm there like, no, Ash, I know you're trying to be nice because everyone would love a bit of Heath. Yeah, but yeah. I don't want you, Heath. I'm yeah. literally there in my dream going, Heath, you're crazy. I don't want you. You're crazy. I don't want you, Heath. You're I want crazy. him. And he's going, no, crazy. I don't want you, Heath. Have her. Crazy. I'm giving Hannah away. Like, sh I'm holding her like this. He's literally going like, I'm okay with this because it's Heath Ledger. I'm doing that Jesus with the fish thing. I am I am Jesus. You are the fish. And I'm giving you heat. Like, you know, I didn't know make sense. I, it didn't make sense. No, no, it didn't about. make sense. No, when Jesus brings the fish to the... What to the, fish? Have you not heard that story? Jesus brings the fish? He feeds... The, what you mean he feeds the fish? No, no, it's just a bad example. That didn't make sense. But now you're making me explain it. With the Let's wine move on. and the bread. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But he goes yeah, like I this. He fish. goes, Jesus goes like this. He goes to the sea and he goes, fish. And then all the fishes are I like, don't think that happens. fishes are just coming up. They're like, <laughs> just a bit of tuna. Just <laughs> ready to be eaten. We are here to watch Gran Torino, which was requested on Patreon. Before we get into it, Make sure you go subscribe to our channel because, yeah. you know. Why not? No, you just, you have because to. Because why not? You go. Give me a reason why not. Yeah. Like, actually comment <laughs> with a reason of why it will desperately don't affect your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't subscribe. Because <laughs> I can give you a reason why it will affect your life if you, if you, hang on. Sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. If you do subscribe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can give you a good reason of how that's going to positively impact your life. Yeah. But yeah. So make sure you <laughs> smash that subscribe button. Let's get into this. Never knows how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with. That's me. Karen's dead. Good. Sorry, but don't oh, sorry. Look at this beautiful man. Clean is Eastwood. Peach. Clean Eastwood. Is that who Younger that is? Clean Eastwood. Is that who it is? The most beautiful man I've ever who seen. Who is this man? Cle who am I talking about? Clean Eastwood. I'm just brought some random actor and I'm like, that's honest to God, he's the most beautiful old man. He's the most beautiful. Oh, look. Oh, is he getting turned on by it or he doesn't like no, it? No, he don't like that. He don't like that at all. He doesn't like kids. No, he don't like belly piercings and what kids are nowadays. Bitter in the pain. Sweet in the salvation. Bitter He's dead. In the pain Go look at him. He's deceased, that one. <laughs> no, he's snoring. He's asleep. And some may ask, what is death? Is it the end or is it the beginning? 
interesting way to look at it. What is this thing we call life? <clears throat> All these questions. Oh, that's that's disrespectful. I'd be disappointed in you, Ashley. A lot of people showed up after the service, huh? You know, I suppose I heard there's gonna be a lot of ham. <laughs> cool, I found a medal. Oh shit! Uh, you don't touch his stuff. Oh my god, he's gonna end them. Chair shot. <laughs> w -W. He's not well. He should not be carrying the chairs up. I think he's he doesn't he doesn't want people to help him. He just he he's, just wants to be yeah, yeah, yeah. he doesn't want to be seen as an old man. Like what old man that I've I've never met an old man that does want to be seen. Or an old woman that wants to be seen as an old woman. Me? Yes, you Grandpa, what would you like some help with this for chairs? No. You probably just painted your nails. <laughs> <laughs> Smokes and he's coughing. Uh oh. Yeah, Clean Eastwood has to smoke in every movie. He that's that's what he's known yeah, but he's for. He's got a cough too. Grandpa, when did you get the uh, vintage car? Nineteen seventy-two. I think they're gonna become close. I don't think he wants anyone to come close to him. What are you gonna do with it when you like die? Uh. Look, he didn't like that because she's basically saying, you going to leave it to me? <laughs> Good. Good for him. She's too materialistic. He's going to strip that out of her. How are you holding up, Walt? Mr. Kowalski. Huh? Mr. Kowalski, that's my name. Oh. It's normally the other way round. You normally say, call me Your wife Paul. and I became quite close these last few months. She asked that I watch over you when she passed on. I told her I watch over my entire flock. Here's our flock, flock, block. you're not even oh, old enough she... to have a flock. A... This man just went for your puberty. Well, I confess that I never really cared for church very much. The only reason I went was because of her. Yeah. And I confess that I have no desire to confess to a boy that's just out of the seminary. <laughs> <laughs> like, how is he a pastor wow. Yeah. Like, he's so young. Well, let's not take that away from him. He's obviously... Yeah, but do you know what I mean? Like, who are you to give me advice? I'm wiser. I'm older. That does... I am your... Uh, what do you call it? The person who, like, guides the sheep. Shepherd. Yeah, I am your shepherd. Wish I could help, Dad, but uh, got to get the kids home. Kids are getting restless. Yeah, fine. Just go. No, help your dad. Wow, there's such a lack of respect everywhere in this film already. I can actually see why he's pissed off. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Did you see the way they just chopped that chicken's head? Yeah, but... Do you think this is going to be about like two cultures coming together? Probably, and actually he... teaching each other yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Pull our skin roll over in his grave. You can see his lawn now. <laughs> Look, it's just the two opposite views. Too old. The too old. Oh wow. shit! She had a whole chocolate milk in there. Jeez, what? Do you see that? Where was she storing that shit? In, what? <laughs> Thought I'd drop by and see how you're doing. I haven't seen you in church in a while. Well, now that you've done your good deed, why don't you just take off down the road? I'd really like to talk, Mr. Kowalski. Bro, f off, man. Do you have a problem with me, Mr. Kowalski? Bitch, I no, want to just on, leave me on, alone. Hang on, hang on. Well, I think you're an overeducated 27 year old version <laughs> who likes to hold the hands of old ladies who are superstitious and promises them eternity. Okay, that. We don't need. To. He's trying to help you. No, he's not. Oh, shit, I just. Accidentally just went in my nose. I just, I went like this and then he went down my nose. You accidentally got your whole finger up your nose. Yeah. Wow. God is you trying to tell like me something because I was laughing at a pastor. He goes, now let me shove a finger up your yeah, ass. Literally. And it was a middle finger as well. Wow. Symbolisms. Hey, Tom. What are you doing, little man? Why are you doing women's work? He doesn't want to talk no. to No. What are you doing I here? like this girl. 
Hey, so how old are you anyway? Mentally, I'm way too old for you. You guys are stupid. I'm going inside. No, no, no. Don't go inside. Your brother. Can you help him? Spider told me that my boy next door got a badass whip. Come on. Badass whip. Oh my god, he's gonna they're gonna steal the car. And he's gonna get in trouble for it. Look at that American flag on top of him. Yeah. Yo, that's symbolistic that's there. Nice that man is patriotic for shit. Yo, man. It's in mint. Condition, man. He doesn't want to do it. There's a Mexican, a Jew, and a colored guy go into a bar. The bartender looks up and says, Get out of here. Wow. That was the punchline. God, I thought there was going to be more to it. That was the punchline. Oh, wow. No, I just came down to talk to Walt, if that's okay. Man, you're a... Bro, leave me alone. Hey, he's not, though. He's persistent. Promised your wife. He made a promise. All right, let's get a booth. I'd love to know what his wife was all about, how she was. Probably the opposite of him. His wife probably kept him... Yeah, out of trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I promised your wife I'd get you to go to confession. Why would you do that? She was very insistent. Let's talk about something else. What? Life and death. Man. I don't want to talk about life and death. My wife's just died. Bro, you haven't even got a beard. How do you know about life and death? You need to... That's patronising now. You're becoming patronising. No, but he's using his priest thing like he knows shit. Do you know what I mean? When he doesn't. He's trying to talk to him. Death is bittersweet. Sort of bitter in its pain, but sweet in its salvation. That's what you know about life and death, and it's pathetic. Yeah. What do you know, Mr. Kowalski? I've been in war, bro. He's what do you know? Him. He's asking. Hack 17 year olds to death with shovels. Stuff I'll remember till the day I die. And what about life? My wife gave me life. That's it. I survived the war. Got married, had a family. Sounds like you know a lot more about death than you do living. Mm, that's true. That's true, though. This guy. That's true. Oh shit, they're stealing his car. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> oh. Uh -oh. oh my god, he's bringing that. that. Bro, it's, just, <laughs> wow. it's an old, like, World War II gun as well. Oh my god, uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh! Oh, oh. he fell. Oh my god. Is he alright? Is he okay? Hello. Hey, morning, Dad. It's your number one son, Mitch. <laughs> Ain't insecure much? <laughs> so what do you want? Uh, no, nothing. I mean, what would I want? Well, I don't know. Your wife's already gone through all your mother's jewellery. <sighs> Oi, that's rude, though. Is it rude, though? Because she might have been told by the mum... When I die, you can go through my jewellery. I think he wants something. He's chatting. You wouldn't happen to still know that guy from the plant that has the Lions season tickets? Told you. Bitch! Wow. They don't just want to ring but then again, to have a chat. Is that bad parenting? From his side as well. Maybe he was um, being in war and stuff. He had so much well, deal to do. Well, he's never given them any love. And the only thing they've ever got from him really is just materialistic. No, stuff. no, but what I'm saying is because he was in war, maybe he had so much PTSD to deal with that he had he had, he, he didn't have time. Yeah, that and he didn't have time to um grow uh you know raise them properly. So the so his wife probably was the one who raised them and nurtured them and stuff. Mm. Wow, I never used the word nurtured. <laughs> Let's go. Your boy's got them thesaurus lines. What are you guys doing here? Can I just come hang out with my little cousin? Huh? Leave him alone, spider. I have good news for you, man. Oh, really? And what's that? Only for guy talk. I don't... Wow. This girl. Come on, don't come on, go. Let's go. Do not. Come. Don't. Get off of him! Yeah, we're gonna do huh? Punch go on, him in the face. Sis. Get go, off go, of go, him! Go, 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 Leave him alone! Go on, sis! Yes! Did you see the way she just rugby tackled him? She jumped on him. Let's go! She's the spider! 
she jumped on him like a sp Oh no, you just took out garden gnomes. You took out guard no no, that's disrespectful. That's just you broke his garden gnomes. You broke his garden gnomes. Oh my god. Get off my lawn. Oh shit off my lawn. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Get off the lawn. Hey, go back in the house. Yeah. I blow a hole in your face and then I go in the house <laughs> and I sleep like a baby. <laughs> I used to stack like you five feet high in Korea. Use you for sandbags. <laughs> Thank you. Get off my lawn. Oh, shit. He is going to take towel under his wing yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's going to teach him about standing up for himself yeah. but he's also going to learn kindness from Tao. from Tao and it's just going to be beautiful it hasn't happened yet and you're going it's going to be beautiful I it hasn't even it. happened yet she's getting emotional <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so good oh they left the him gifts look at the kindness they're giving him this. Wow. I'd wow. be munching. That chicken that they chopped the head off, it's there. Cook. He's throwing it all the way. No, no. No, no, no. Come on. No more. His family don't give him anything no, no, unless no. they get something Send from something. him. So? How wants to say something? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For trying to steal your car. Let me tell you something, boy. You step on this property again, you're done. Tao, you should have explained. They were bullying me into doing it. He knows. Can you please help he me, knows. sir? He knows. He knows. Sir, help me. Yeah. Please? Yeah. Oh, this ginger kid. <clears throat> He's keeping his promise. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, <laughs> You know, I, I prayed that they would show up, but nobody answered. <laughs> Someone could have been killed. We're talking life and death here. God, everything's to do life and death, life and death, life and death. I'm telling you, he read, one, he, he, read, he read one line in the Bible and he's just using it. It's like me if I read a thesaurus and you learn a cool line. That's what he's doing. I've been thinking about our conversation on life and death. Wait. About what you said. About how you carry around all the horrible things you were forced to do. It seems it would do you good to unload some of that burden. It would. He's took That is true, but he's not going the right way around it. And I've seen a lot of men who have confessed their sins, admitted their guilt, oh, and left their down. burdens behind them. Stronger mm. men than you. Well, hell of fucking Louis. But you're wrong about something else. Come on, tell him, tell him, tell him. The thing that haunts a man the most is what he isn't ordered to do. What he chooses to do. He choose he chose to do horrible just, things. He wasn't ordered to do. Yeah, it. exactly. He's just like a kid. Like you don't know shit about life, and you're telling this man about life and death. You need to drop drop it now. You always get a vendetta against someone in a film. No, but he's just chatting. Always. Yeah, Leave me just alone. Watch the film and see where it goes because he might help him in the long run. Yeah, we'll keep the change. See you in three weeks, Brick. <laughs> Not if I see you first, dipshit. See, I love that's this, what he needs. I love, he I needs love that. He needs people to just give the same energy back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's, that's Clean cool. Eastwood's son. Shut up. It looks exactly like him as well. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Bring that little tight ass over here. Come here, girl. Oh, shit. Little tight ass. You like that? No, I don't. I, I, what are you You'd getting like, at? Can you explain that to me? That's a compliment. And you'd be like, that is a compliment. Thank you so much. Now, what the fuck y'all come down here for, huh? We're just walking, bitch. Shut yeah, your mouth. Yeah, can't we all just be nice to each other, please? Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna take real good care no, of No, you're not. Fuck out Get Fuck away. Out of I mean it now. Oh, there you go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, run them over. Run them over. Run them over. GTA style. Come on. GTA. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> right. Okay. 
Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while and you shouldn't have fucked them? <laughs> Why don't you get your ass up out of here before I kick your old wrinkly white ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that gun out. Get that gun out. Get that gun out. <laughs> Do you think he's going to kill us? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he knows what he's doing. Now he's going to get the real shit out. <laughs> oh, shit. Now get in the truck. Yeah. Who's he telling to get in the truck, though? The Her. girl, yeah. Let go, man. Shut up, pussy. Shut up, yeah. I Are love how he called his, his son. son. <laughs> and he gets yourself killed. Maybe it's going to be these two instead. girls were supposed to be smart. Should be hanging out with your own people, the other Hamongs. You mean Hmong? Yeah. Hmong, not Hmong. <laughs> what is it? Jungle people wanting to be in the great frozen time? Hill people. We were wow. hill people, not jungle people. Booga booga booga. She's cool though. She's not getting offended. She's like. She is she's, cool. But she's teaching I him. Do feel a little bit. What? Like. This scene is very much just reading the script. Yeah. You know, the gaps in between. No, I don't know. I feel know. like they should have improvised it a bit more. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's not funny. It's not it's so bad. Here we go, look. Look, there you go. Tao. He, Tao oh, okay. learned that from him. Tao didn't learn that from him. I'll bet you any money he did. No, no, no. This is what it's showing. Not every kid is bad. It's showing Tao and his sister have been brought up the right way. And look, he's helping. He, the man, he didn't learn to go and help them. No, no, no. But let, no, no. Let me, let no, me tell you. Let me, no, no. Let me, let me say something. Look, she's nodding. She's saying yes. No, no. That is mine. Tao saw the way he stood up. Right and showed him respect and how he saved the sister as well. Yeah, but that it gave him confidence to do that to no. pick it up. Yes, it did. You're so wrong. No, it's you're just wrong. in his nature. The whole film has showed that Tao is just it's in his nature to be like that. Yeah, but I'm saying a good kid. Yes, he is a good kid, but he, he gave him confidence. That. No, you cannot take that from Tao that this guy taught him how to go and help a no, woman. No, he didn't teach his him. His family brought Hannah, him up like you're not that. understanding what I'm saying. He actually it followed gave him, his culture. If I could... It basically gave him that extra push that he needed, that confidence. No, he, he was that kid. Crash. It just needs to be let he out. He would have always gone to help out a woman. I bet you he wouldn't. Are you He'd be right? nervous to do it. He'd wow, be nervous to do watch, it. You haven't watched it properly. Yes, I have. We're having a barbecue. You want to come over? Just keep your hands off my dog. No worries. We only eat cats. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over and get something to eat. We've got beer too. Come on, man. They season their food properly as well. Come on, let's go. Well. Let's go. Drink with strangers rather than drink alone after all. I, do you know, it oh, just shows you, yeah, it, it just shows Wally. that you can get to people you can get to people with banter. Like, you don't have to get offended by every little thing you they say. You don't have to just try and help someone. You can just literally be like, yeah, you're, you're cool. Let's, like, I, I'm not going to overdo this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Korku. He's a Lord Family Shaman. And what's that? Some sort of a witch doctor or something? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. She accepts him. We need more people like her as well. Korku's interested in you. He heard what you did. He would like to read you. Yeah, sure. Fine by me. All right. He's oh, just, he's... he's the warmest he's been yeah, in the yeah, whole yeah. film. He says that people do not respect you. They don't even want to look at you. That's not true. I respect him. Yeah, but his family don't. He's going to say something that's going to trigger him. He says you have no happiness in your life. It's like you're not at peace. Can he say something positive? Man, though? I'm just here for it. Barbecue. It's my barbecue and my birthday. He knows it's true as well. Because he, he knows it's true. He's looking at their culture and thinking, wow. I wish my, like, my like, family was my like, family like, this, like this. Me like this. Are, are you alright? 
Hannah's cheeks are just, yeah, look, she's going. It's hard because he's not like, he's not like being the nicest person. He said some awful things. But these two together, like, she can see. Sean, I've been more in common with these gooks than I do my own spoiled, rotten family. Wow. <laughs> wow. And also, the reason that she's so kind is because she's following her culture. You know, her cousin and stuff, they're not following that culture. Mm. She's actually following it. And that's the good thing about all these different cultures is every culture has really good meaning behind it if you follow it properly. Mm. He's going to fix it. Mm. That's it. That's symbolisms, right? When you see something's wrong, don't ignore it. That's what he's doing, right? He's seen something's wrong and he's doing something about it. And he is that uh, washing machine. He fixed it. Yeah. And now he's going to fix Tao. Oi, she's giving him the look. She likes them, them gamer nerds, boys, that are like... Quiet. She likes them shy kids. Name's Walt. Hi, Walt. I'm Yua. Mm. You got my pleasure. No, Yua. So, what do you do? I fix things. I, I just fixed that dryer there. And I'm here to fix you and Tao together. I just love this. Like, you accept people for who they are and not bash them on the head just because they said something that mm -hmm. you don't agree. Like, I love that. For sure. I you agree. know? It's just about, yeah. Like, you don't try and cancel him and shit. Like, once you, like, treat them with banter, I'm he learns about treat? your culture. Yeah. It's not Toad, it's Tao. My name is Tao. Yeah, well, you're blowing it with that girl who was there. Not that I give two shits about a Toad like you. <laughs> you gotta earn your name first. I may not be the most pleasant person to be around, mm -hmm. but I got the best woman who was ever on this planet to marry me. But you, you know, you're letting Click Clack, Ding Dong, and Charlie Chan just walk out with this what's her face. <laughs> oh my God. And you know why? Because you're a big fat... That's what some people need to hear. He's, he's, he's looking at his sons here and he's going, I should have treated you like this, not like this. And he's looking at him like his own no, son. No, I think he did treat his sons like that. And that's why they... Because he's... He no, just... I reckon he didn't, he didn't teach his kids about these shit. Uh, uh, no more, please. Uh, oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring that in. Bring that in. Bring that in. All right. <laughs> bring that in. Yeah, okay. Come on. Come on. See what happens when you get a good seasoning in your life, like me? Why are you talking to me like I don't eat good seasoned food? Yeah, but I am seasoned. Do you understand? I am that seasoned meat. Was here to work for you. Yeah. My mama said he dishonored the family, and now he has to work off his debt. Why is this being yeah, put French back on jail. me? <laughs> He's the one who tried to steal my car. All of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow, tomorrow. He respects the respect of that culture. Yeah, he's like. Does that make okay, sense? Yeah. Son of a bitch! I never thought he'd show. Look, he just because he's just got such low expectations of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. See that tree right there? You just go over there and count the birds. You want me to count the birds? Yeah, you can count. All you slopes are supposed to be good at math, right? <laughs> oh my god. Look, so he's helping everyone around the neighborhood. Mm hmm. He's teaching him, isn't he? Like, he's just teaching him about respect, about he not being offended can easily. Can I just say something really quick? He didn't need teaching about respect because he already had it, right? What's happening here is he is teaching him that not all kids aren't going to do it. Like, he didn't think he'd show up, he showed up. He's teaching him how to stand up for himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kraski? Husky? Oh no. Mm. He's gonna be like, what happened to my old doctor? All the issues that you've had. Excuse me. What happened to Dr. Fellman, my regular doctor? I'm his replacement, Dr. Chu. Hmm. 
such an old fashioned mindset, you know. Yeah, but it's but also not fair I, for us I to go. Why exactly. You, no, yeah. no, I totally get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't expect people to just change, change how their mind. Up. He man was born in nineteen forties, and you expect him no, to he, have a different exactly. open mind. I don't expect him. No, no, to. What, no, no. People like, do you know what I mean? I understand. Like he's been brought up in a certain time frame. We've been brought up in a certain time frame. Our, everything will change when we're older. How about work? Who's he? Yeah. yeah, I suppose. He's not giving him anything. Speaking of busy, uh, I got a lot on my plate right now, so if there's not something pressing... Uh... No. He rang for a chat. No, not at all. It was nice talking to you, Dad. Thanks for calling. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, you going again? You okay? He's going to find that connection with him, and isn't he? he? Yeah. <coughs> the father-son thing. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Man, where'd you get all this stuff? May come as a surprise to a thief. I bought this stuff, everything in here with my own money. Every tool in here has a purpose. Everything has a job to do. Look, he's taking an interest. Mm. And I just... Oh. I can't afford my oldest stuff. I guess even a bonehead like you could understand that a man acquires this over a period of 50 years. Take these three items right here. You can have this. WD-40, vice groups. Oh, that's so nice. He's the man in the house, they said earlier, didn't they? And he's going to sort the house out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's going to do his back in. There's no way he's going to... I'd do Jesus my back Christ. in. Toad, you got a minute? Look, he's asking for help. We're getting there, yeah, yeah. me. We're getting there. I love yes. It. No, no, I've got the top. No, oh, yeah, I'll take the top. It looks pretty heavy. Look, I'm not crippled. I've got the top. If you don't let me take the top, I ain't helping. I'm gonna go back home. Now listen to me. <laughs> now you listen, old man. Let's go. I'm here because you need help. Let's. He's growing balls. Yes. Oh shit. You take the top. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. He's like, okay, your first step is learn. Everyone needs a walk. Everyone needs a walk, but also everyone needs a towel. No, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Why would you need a towel? You need him. No, you need someone like Walt to he give you the confidence him. to be... Yeah, ballsy, but you also need someone to really show you what we good is. No, no, this is what it's showing, baby. We have too many towels... People with low confidence who don't know skills, basic skills. We need people like Walt to teach us, like, you can't be too uh, you sensitive. You have to know how to fix shit, okay. right? And know about respect. And that's what he does. Can He's... I just say something? You think Tao has been too sensitive? No, I he's, think he's, not he's been shy, sensitive. At sensitive. All. What's been sensitive about him? That People are being he got offended. No, 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 no. But he's... People are being. Awful to him, and he just yeah, didn't but react. That's that's what he's showing you. You can't be sensitive and be offended by these things. You gotta take it like her. Like, think... do you remember he was racist to her? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. But it, it, I say racist, but it wasn't. It was just his banter. She could have taken that as racism, but she was like, "Hey, you, this you is have what a bad." I'm bag. saying you don't listen to me. You don't listen to me. Everyone needs a her. Yeah, her. yeah, I agree Not with Walt. that. You think Walt is happy? No. I he think needs people... Tao and her to make him understand that he can be happy again. People need Walt, I'm telling you, baby. You need a bit of everyone in this film. Maybe you should get a job. You can't just sit there and spread mulch in my garden the rest of your life. Well, maybe you could just pay me. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> get a job in construction. I know people in the trades. Of course, we have to make a little adjustment and man you up a little bit. And I think you ought to date Miss Yum Yum, too. Mm. Wow, he's really, really guide, like wanting to guide him. Yeah. He just doesn't want him to become like his sons. That's what he's doing. 
because he didn't raise his sons right and he's like okay i've got this guy he's a blank canvas I literally i don't even think he's looking that deep into it i think he's just if he, he you're right yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 he's just, he's just helping moment right he's now. just helping and he's like do you know what i'm gonna help you out a little bit if i can how you doing martin you crazy italian prick well you cheap bastard i should have known you'd come in i was having such a pleasant day <laughs> <laughs> i love it now that's how guys <laughs> talk to one another that's how guys talk to one another I go on out and come back in and talk to him like a man. Insult his hairline. Insult his I mean, hairline. I don't know. I don't know. It just... Say, did someone loan your head, mate? Wow. Wow. Did someone loan your head because you haven't got anything for me to get off on? What's up, you old Italian prick? Get out of my shop before I blow your head off, you goddamn dick smoking goat! Okay. What the hell are you doing? Have you lost your mind? That's what you said, men say. You do, you don't just come in and insult the man in his own shop. <laughs> what should I have said then? Yeah, kid, why don't you start with um, hello. hi or hello? Excuse me, sir. I need a haircut. If you ain't too busy, you old Italian son of a bitch, freak barber. <laughs> yeah. Yes. See, look, we don't need more towels. We have enough towels in this culture. Oh, Ash, just shut we up. do, but you no, no. But my, I am right. At all. I am right. It's about everyone teaching everyone something. You think it's all just about Walt teaching other people? What is That's Tao not teaching him? True. Tao Look isn't how soft he's become. Yeah, because of the girl. Kindness. No, no, because of the sister. Because of both of them. No, Tao's not teaching him anything. Tao's a blank canvas. You got a vehicle? Not at the moment. Taking the bus for now. Bus? Jesus Christ, you don't have a car? My head gets get cracked, and a goddamn prick at the shop wants to bend me over for 2100. Oh, <laughs> okay, um, come on in I on love Monday, it. and uh, we'll find something for you to do. Hey, you just got him a job. We need more people talking to each other like this as well. Just, just talking to each other. I, I hate this soft culture, though, and it's making me soft. Because I can't, like... I just think, as long as everyone's respectful to each other... That's why I'm in a relationship with you, right? Because me and you can insult each other, but we could take it. Sure. I can't be with oh, anyone sensitive. I'm not going to walk up to a stranger and insult them, That's, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I wish we could be like that. Like, not insult, but like, be like, what's up, you... Right? That's yeah. so... Without going... <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, I know, I know what you mean. But you've also just got to respect everyone else's upbringing and, and how they've been brought Do up. Do I, though? To a degree, yeah. But it doesn't mean that you need to change the way you are. Uh, I really appreciate all this. Forget it. No, I, I really do. Thank you. That's a firm handshake. Oh. He's buying him tools. This is good. This is so good. Oh no. No, this is bad. No, no, this, this is, is bad. bad. Alleyways are bad. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Come on, Walt. Where you at? What's up, homeboy? What you doing? I'm coming uh, home from work. Not that you guys would know much about that. Oi, hey, give him back. <laughs> Keep your hands off my stuff. Smash it. Oh, my job, man. Again, you're talk. Oh shit. No, 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 What's no. What's I'm looking for? Oh shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Save it. Face. Oh shit! Dog. <laughs> Go on! <laughs> oh my god! Ouch! Ouch! That last Ouch. energy that he has. Ow. Listen. You stay away from towel. Understand. You would tell your friends to stay away from Tao. I'll take that as a yes, because if I have to come back here, it's going to get ugly. He's on his last breath as well. So I when know. He... he's like, do you know what? I'll, I'll, mate, what are you going to do? You ain't going to do yeah. shit. I'll go to prison. That's fine. That's yeah, fine by cool. me. I'm, I'm, I'm dying like, yeah. as well. It might have backfired, though. It might have backfired on Tao. Yeah. Ugh. How do you want your dog? I mean... Uh... <laughs> I've never seen you like this before. Well, I'm feeling good. You know, I got beautiful women, great food. Oh. Look, now, Yum Yum, if he doesn't ask you out, I'm going to ask you out. Oi! <laughs> but he beat you to it. Really? 
No kidding. Oh, he's already asked her out. Let's go. You're taking the bus. <laughs> no, you can't take the bus. Gotta get you something more stylish than that. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Oh my God, that's that no. means the Gran Torino. No. This is gonna be bad. Why? That's no. not bad. It's bad. No, it He's isn't. He's gonna get it stolen. No, he's he gonna won't. drive out on it. The the guys are gonna catch him on his nah, day. You're being too negative. It bad. won't. It won't. Something it won't. Bad's gonna happen. <gasps> oh shit! They're gonna shoot his house. Oh, they're shooting the wrong house. They're shooting Tao's house. No, they're not. They're shooting his house. No, it's not. They are shooting his house. No, they shot oh the Tao's God. house. Oh no. You were right, it literally backfired. But that that is now teaching him you're not in. Is everybody alright? <laughs> no, he's okay, he's, he's got a car. He's got a car. It's showing him that his actions. Where's the do girl? Have... Where's the girl? Where's the girl? He knows that he's caused this. She got dropped off. Something bad happened. <gasps> Just... Do you think they done something else? Yeah. Oh my god, he's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill him. Oh, he's so. Oh, the problem man. with this now, as well, is that fire that she had is gonna go. Police finally left. No one's talking. Oh, and the fucking ginger kid's gonna come in, talk about life and death again. <sighs> Tao and Sue are never gonna find peace in this world as long as that gang's around until they go away, you know. What are you saying? You know what I'm saying. Mm, got to kill him. What would you do? I know what I would do if I was you. Forgive them? Shut up. If I was Tao, I guess I'd want vengeance. And you? I'd come over here and talk to you, I guess. So what are you going to do, Mr. Kowalski? What are we going to do? Call me Walt. Mm. What are you going to do, Walt? I don't know. But I'll think of something. Is that what you've done? Okay, right. Action heads. Plan of action. Thank you. Wow, his trousers are high. Thank you. Why is his trousers so high? <laughs> we stay calm or else mistakes get made. True. We have to step back from this thing. Yep. Okay. Calm. This is calm. We do. We need to stay calm and come up with a proper, proper plan. So I want you to go home and stay calm and come back here at four this afternoon. And what needs to be done will be done. See, he would have killed them without having this meeting. He would have just ran last night and got them killed. But he knows that's that's dumb. So he's and he's not going to beat him up because there's more of them. So he has to come. Oh, he knows, I don't know what well, he's going to do. Him acting in pure rage got them in this situation in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a balance. He's never had a fit of Uh oh. I think he's got an idea, maybe. He's gonna do a confession. I'm here for a confession. Oh shit! Oh, he's made Jesus, his mind what up. What have you done? No, yep. No, you just take it easy now. <laughs> what are you up to? Are you gonna give me a confession or not? Oh shit! If Clean Eastwood is in the church and he's about to make a confession, you know it's bad. You know it's bad. What are your sins, my son? 1968, I kissed Betty Jablonski. Dorothy was in the other room with the other wives. Yes. Go on. Well, I made a $900 profit selling a boat and a motor. Oh, these are all just his little sins that he's done over the years. He's like, okay, yeah. can we get to the main course? I was never very close with my two sons. Oh. Told you. I don't know them. That's it? That's it. <laughs> it's, oh, it's bothered me most of my life. Oh. 
Padre was like, oh, mate, thank God. Are you going to retaliate for what happened to you? <laughs> Go in peace. Oh, I am at peace. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, I am in peace. Yeah, also, is, Padre's can't, you can't you, use Jesus' his name, name in, vain. in vain. Yeah, yeah, and he said and it he twice. Said, yeah. <laughs> There's always a chance you don't come back. The hell we won't. We're gonna roll up in there and tear some ass. Yeah, that's foolish. Mm. That's the exact reaction they're waiting for. Mm. Oh, he's smart. He's got another plan. How many men did you kill in Korea? 13, maybe more. What was it like to kill a man? Mm. You don't wanna know. He's done killing as well, so like, that's why I, I don't, don't yeah, think I he's don't gonna think kill. We're gonna kill anyone. He's done with killing. And if he's you're- He's him in. Look. Look what he's done, he's locked him in. Oh so can't shit! Do anything. I don't think he wants him to kill anyone. But he said he's at peace. I don't think he's gonna kill him though. I think he's he's gonna kill them. You want to know what it's like to kill a man? Well, it's goddamn awful. That's what it is. The only thing worse is getting the medal of wow. valor for killing some poor kids. Not a day goes by that I don't think about it. You don't want that on your soul. No. So he's gonna do it. I'm proud to say that you're my friend, but you've got your whole life ahead of you. But me, I finish things, and I'm going it alone. <laughs> no! Oh, I'll be so sad if I lost him. He just called him his oh, friend. I'll be so sad if I didn't have someone like that. <laughs> oh, baby, he's going to do so. He's leaving his dog with them. Even the dog's like, Jesus Christ. He's never acted like this. <laughs> oh, shit, he's here. Someone's gonna die. Do you see the, he didn't call his sons as well. He only went, he actually didn't like do that whole goodbye talk thing. He only no, did it to tell. It, yeah. He didn't do it to none of his family. I didn't think your ass would've came. Shut up, Gobio. Shrimp dick, midget like you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You go ahead and watch out for your boyfriend. Because it was either he or you or someone who raped one of their own family. Your own blood, for Christ's sake. They did rape her. Says who? You? <laughs> Witnesses. Kind of jumpy, aren't we? A light? The fuck? Oh my god, what's he gonna do? Me. I've got a light. He's gonna set fire to them or something. <gasps> I think he's done it on purpose because he wants them to be arrested. <sighs> what? You're right, because there's witnesses. And they all shot him, an old white man as well. Oh, he sacrificed himself because he knows they will be gone for good, right? He got all of them as well. Walt Kowalski once said to me that I didn't know anything about life or death because I was an over-educated 27-year-old virgin. <gasps> they, he's going to leave the car. Now, which brings us to our last item. And I'd like to leave my 1972 Grand Torino to... Look at her with your dirty ass nose ring. My friend, Tao Van Lor. On the condition that you Look don't chop mugs. top the roof like one of those beaners. Oh.
Oh, wow. That was good. <laughs> That was really good. I just love Clean Eastwood in general. I think he's such a great actor and he holds so much presence when he's on screen. But the story is so simple, yeah, but it's done in a way where it's like it shows like how cultures it's can accept actually, each other yeah. and not be offended with like slight I've racist a lot as remarks. Well about, like that culture as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just showing, like, man, you don't have to be offended because if you get offended, you don't give that person a chance to, for you to learn about the culture. When I mean, you accept each other for, like, what you are and you could joke about your cultures and stuff, mm -hmm. you accept each other. But if you, like, immediately go and cancel them and you go, you can't say that. You can't. Like, you, you're, you put a wall and that person will never want yeah, to get yeah, to know yeah. you, right? Like that girl, to, yeah. That you know that girl. Teach them anything. That Sue and girl. Teach you. That Sue girl was the only one. She was like a bridge, right? She was like, "Oh look, we accept each other and our culture. Come she in." She is gonna like out of all of this though. Her life has been severely affected. Yeah, all of them. No, but hers, hers as well. Is yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, that was amazing, man. That was so good. Wow. Oh, my God. Emotional, isn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like... It didn't rely on music or anything. It was just such a simple movie with, mm -hmm. like, a really powerful message. And yeah. it's just... That's it. It was beautiful. But, yeah. guys, listen. Thank you so much for watching this reaction. Um, make sure you go onto our Patreon. Check out the full-length reaction. Oh, sorry. You okay? Like, you share, you subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> that helped, you know. We love you guys. Take care. Mwah. Oh, man.